You are a man of destiny. Run with purpose in every step. Change has come upon you, for the greater one lives in you. For if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that same spirit, that same spirit shall vitalize your mortal bodies. Somebody shout hallelujah. Life in the kingdom is beautiful. You are his workmanship. You were born to live the glory life. Now, that's the Welcome to this new season. I like to thank God for the gift of life and the fact that God has brought us graciously to the 11th month of the year. You know, 2020 has been an exciting year. It's been a year full of ups and downs, but for the righteous, it's been a very super eventful year because of the things that God has done for us protecting, preserving, and keeping his own through this year. And we are so grateful to God that we're in the 11th month. Now, in this 11th month, the Spirit of the Lord has told us that November is our month of prophecy. So powerful. The reason is because the gift of prophecy in the church is given for the preservation of the righteous. That's why God gives prophecy. You know, the Bible says in Hosea chapter 12, in verse 13, that it was by a prophet that God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet, he preserved them. That means that the gift of prophecy preserves the righteous. And this month, working under that atmosphere of divine instruction by the power of prophecy, we are going to be so preserved, we are going to be sustained, but above all, we are going to receive instructions that will take us to the next level. Glory to God. You know, in Ezekiel chapter 37, the, the prophet Ezekiel tells us how that God took him by the arm of the Lord and brought him led by the Spirit into a valley that was full of dry bones. And the scripture tells us how that God miraculously turned these dry bones into a large army. And how did it happen? It happened through the agency and the ministry of prophecy. Because God kept saying to the prophet, prophesy. So he prophesied to the dry bones, they came alive, they came together. Then he prophesied again to the wind, and life came to the dry bones. And I am so confident that as we go into this month, there is going to come the wind of the Lord by the gift of prophecy. So strong upon our lives that whatever was disjointed, I see it coming together. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever was it that was stagnated, dead, barren, and had no life in it, it's coming alive by the power of the ministry of prophecy. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm so excited that as we begin to approach the last days of this year, God is moving us in dimensions that we never even thought were possible because His Spirit is mightily at work in us. I'm so excited and I, I, I cannot wait for your testimonies to come. You know, October was our month of possibilities, but that Spirit that was released is beginning to go massively into work and effectively working in conjunction with the Spirit of Prophecy begin to produce outstanding results. You're going to see impossibilities turned around and God's grace will work mightily in your life. I, I, I pray for you that the grace of God rests mightily upon you that you go through this month with no losses, with effective direction and with such outstanding testimonies because God is with you. Glory to God. My name is Dr. Abel and I will see you at the end of this month. Keep enjoying the treasures of the Christ life. Visit my YouTube channel. Listen to the word of God this month. And you are coming top, shining, blazing. With so much testimony of God's faithfulness. God bless you.